Sadly, we are becoming one dimensional. Down 130 officers from this time last year, Minneapolis Police Chief Madaria Arredondo says he's had to decommission certain units. And right now, MPD is limited to responding to 911 calls. But there's far more that goes on in our city that our men and women are dealing with. Because of that, Chief Arredondo says he's grateful for an offer from the Department of Justice to give Minneapolis access to a national resource center to help MPD with training and policies and practices to prevent the use of excessive force. For me as chief of police, this is about trying to secure this offering of resources that will help, help in the work that is so desperately needed right now, particularly under some very constrained and limited resources. The International Association of Chiefs of Police will run the National Response Center, which will not be located in Minnesota, but a coordinator would work with Arredondo to shape the program to exactly what MPD needs. Beyond that, there were not a great deal of specifics shared at the press conference announcement. Right now, city attorneys are working to determine whether the city council would need to vote to accept the DOJ offer or whether Arredondo can simply accept it on behalf of MPD. My assumption is we will lose more officers before we get to the end of the year. So that has played a critical role in our public safety. It, um, and that's why I said we've become one dimensional, a department that I wish we would not have to become. Lou Raguse, CARE 11 News. Today's announcement was followed by a meeting that included community leaders to learn more about the offer.